What are you up to now? Revelio. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. One for the ages. Akio. My, uh, my wand slipped. Try to beat that. I'll let you have that one. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander, there's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Revelio. Another adventure, are we? Revelio. Revelio. 
Revelia. Revelia. Revenia. Doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Likely she saw an advertisement in the paper. Hello there. Please uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. I suspect you have a sharp eye. For Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you.
I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Revelio. I sure won't do this! I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Incendio! Revelio! I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. 
He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlery. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts, always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery. Oh, one would think. However, the Headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand-maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Ah, oh, you've brought hope to this old wand-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Revelio. Don't mind me, owls. I'm here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? Here. I recognize those hand. Oh, this will do nicely. Mm, nothing. Revelio. Accio. Here's a welcome surprise. No statues here. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. Revelio. aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Accio. <laughs> Nothing. No statues here. Ooh, I'll take that, thank you. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. <laughs> Nothing. to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. <gasps> What's happening? Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So, Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? 
I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was. So I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Hogsmead, here I come. Lumos. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. 
Lewis. Revelio. Lumos. Can you imagine working at the Ministry? Day in, day out, trapped behind a desk. The Auras get to have all the fun. Or rather, they ruin our fun. None of us are intimidated by your rash decisions, especially the one where you ended up with an actual rat. Lumos. I can't imagine how embarrassing it must be. Off on another adventure, are we? Pure bloods like us are simply better at magic. Why do the mudbloods even try? I'm certainly grateful to be part of a pure bloodline. I'm not sure which is worse, a squib or a mudblood. There's never been a shameful squib in my family's history. Squibs even do with their life. How do you survive without magic? Enchanted candles? Wonder where they're heading. The candles seem to be leading into the Forbidden Forest. Treasure must be nearby. I suppose the picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Revelio. Hm. Treasure hunting suits me.
abandoned long ago, no doubt. Huh. Incendio! Revelio! Incendio! Revelio! 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 Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm, yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Thing to do now but keep going.
a waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Revelio. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Travel broadens the mind. Intramuros. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But. Uh... will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. Revelia. I wonder how big this place is. Casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me do this. Take 
I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. able to float straight to me. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? I'd have thought Jack Dorr would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Incendio! Accio! Incendio! Valley. 